Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and once again, we're gonna play some Windward. Nothing fancy, just a quick gameplay video for you. Let's go ahead and pick up where we left off from our previous live stream. I think that was, gosh, four or five months ago. It just seems like it was yesterday. All right, so for those of you that don't know anything about Windward, uh, basically it's a action RPG with pirates. Really cool stuff. Um, hitting M brings up your map of the immediate area. You can move to different areas. There's like a, a grand map that you can travel between. On the left-hand side, there's a fast travel button. And here's a look at all the different zones that are available. Some you actually have to... Uh, like, you can only get to them if you level up your character, well, I guess your ship in this case. You can only level, uh, reach those locations if you level up enough to get there. For example, this zone here, this region needs, uh, 15 skill points. I think I only have, like, 10 right now. It works very, yeah, I have 9. It's very similar to any other RPG out there in the sense that, as you level up and gain experience, you'll get these talent points or skill points, and then you can choose between various talents. It's a very basic talent tree. It's nothing to the caliber of, say, World of Warcraft, but it's not bad for what it is. All right, so let's just have some fun. Um, don't know what I'm going to do with this. Hi, Grey Wolf. How are you? Alright, so I've explored this map in its entirety. Let's see if I can fast travel. Okay, region 16. I need 9 skill points. I've got that. We'll fast travel there. Alright, and from the looks of this, there's not much going on here either. So what I may do... Um, I can create an instance. An instance just creates like a separate zone... And I can cater it to combat or questing. I can make it a battleground. I'm just going to do combat. That'll give us something fun to do. I mean, you can trade back and forth between towns. You can trade commodities, do quests, that kind of thing. In this combat scenario, though, we're going to start with this little town here. We're going to explore the map and try and destroy all the pirate-controlled towns. There's a bar on the very top, and most of it is, like, black, controlled by pirates. So we're going to try and discover these locations and take it from them. Just waking up. Oh, got one already. Now, combat is very simple in this. The computer shoots for you. It's not like you got to do much. You do have abilities along the bottom that you can activate. I've got a volley. I've got chain shot. That's one down. There's another one coming in. On occasion, these ships will drop loot. Definitely a good idea to get what you can. Oh, jeez. Yeah, take that guy out. <laughs> There's four of you and one of him. I think you'll be fine. Now, in addition, to, in, in addition to collecting, say, like, wood or gold, you can also collect items, which, again, like a typical RPG, you can equip to your ship. This poplar hall here, you can compare the stats um, if you hover over it. This one's actually worse than what I have now, so I'll just keep what I have. Right, 
while I'm knocking that out. It's not exactly the most realistic pirate game I've ever played, but it's it's quite fun. Alright, now we destroy that sentry tower. If we stay near it, there's a little circle here. We can capture it. You can tell you're in range when you hear that. It sounds like cheering, but I think it's fighting. Alright, so now we captured it. It'll auto-build. Alright, let's go ahead and capture our Tash. There's a little capture circle that's filling up over the town. Whenever the circle is completely blue, then we'll capture it. It's a very simple game, this, but I just like the idea of leveling up, you know, a pirate ship and, and getting better. Like, I'm, I'm all about the action RPGs. I really enjoy them. And there's not enough pirate games out there, I think. I tried playing Tempest earlier, and that was just buggy, buggy mess. Then I played Sid Meier's Pirates for a little bit. That was okay, but it's dated. It's very, very dated. Um, Windward is one of the newer games, and I say newer loosely because I think it was released in, gosh, was it 2013, 14, something like that? Maybe 15. It's It's been years since it's been released. Lighthouse is under our control. Move it on. Now, technically, we don't have to capture those, but I do anyway. That gives the AI something to do. Like, if, if the pirates are sailing by and they're heading toward your town, they might stop and try and capture that first. That gives you some time to do what you need to do. Oh, nice. Two of them. Wonderful. I'm trying to keep both sides to bear so I can shoot them both at the same time. Yeah, a little help. Bronze ammunition. Yeah. I look at the sum on the bottom. When you're comparing items, there's a little sum with a green arrow or a red arrow. Uh, if you, On the very bottom, there are, there's like acid resistance, armor, cold resistance. But if you add all of that up, it sums it up into one general number, which is nice. I like that. And then, like, my, my equipped item has a, a sum of 129, and this Poplar Hall has a sum of 71, so clearly what I have is superior. Yes, it, it's, there's probably a few attributes that might be better if I equip that, but I'd be losing as well. There's a trade-off. But if you're in a hurry, just look at the sum. There's some battling down there. We take a look at our map. Oh, yeah, there's four on... Okay, four on one. I think we got that. We're fine. All right, captured that. Let's keep going. Oh, yeah, this, this guy's dead. Clearly. Now, you'll notice that I'm starting to get stars above my head. Um, the more ships I kill, the more stars I get and the more powerful I become. But as soon as I die, 
that resets. So it's a good idea to try stay alive and, and not just commit suicide. Oh, I think we've got company up there. Someone's trying to recapture our town. Yeah. Can't let that happen. No, unfortunately, there's no boarding in this game. Like, you can't... You can't send your pirates aboard the enemy ship and, and try and capture it. Nothing like that. Alright, now I gotta wonder, where did that ship come from? That means there's gotta be a town nearby that they're sending ships from. Let's head out this way. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's definitely a town up that way. They're spawning from that area. Not too shabby. thousand gold. I think I've got enough for a new ship at some point. That's another cool thing. You can actually buy better ships in this. Alright, Sentry Tower. You might have to destroy that first before we actually capture Norna Castle here. Let's take a look and see what our friends are doing. So we've got four friendly ships toward the middle there. It looks like they're going after some towers or lighthouses. That's fine. Divide and conquer. And my sails are taking a beating. All right, that's gone. So we have to capture this first. There we go. Hmm. The bark cloth sails are actually better. Sum of 70 compared to my sum of 60. I'd gain acid resistance, armor, cold resistance. I wouldn't be negative anymore. But I'd lose electricity resistance, diplomacy, which I really don't care about. Heat resistance. I'd gain mobility, lose a little bit of sail. Okay, I think we're going to equip this. There we go. And we're going to sell our existing one. And this cloth dye, we can use it to change the color of the ship's sails. I, I generally don't like doing that, unless it's a blue color. Alright, we'll sell that as well. That's aqua. I like dark blue. We'll sell that. Bronze ammunition, worse than what we have. Sell. So. Okay. Looks like our AI buddies have discovered a town to the east. I guess we'll head over that way. One thing, it would be nice to be added to this game. I mean, I, I doubt it's going to happen because the game is pretty old at this point, comparatively. But it would be nice to have some sort of like auto travel system. Like, just click on a town. You can set the target and it'll guide, it'll give you a line to follow. But it doesn't, like, it doesn't send you there automatically. Oh, nice. We captured it without... Nice. Okay. Someone captured it. Alright. So we need to look at our map and determine where they're coming from. I'm, I'm guessing there might be a town to the southeast. Let's head down that way. What concerns me is that they've captured this lighthouse up here. So I wonder if they're going to be trying to capture our Tash pretty soon. Oh! We lost Castenham. Of 
course we did. Another cool thing, I, I, I wish that... I wish that we could actually tell our sh friendly ships where to go. We can recruit them and have them follow us. But we can't actually go, okay, I want this ship to go over here. I want you to go over here. I, I don't seem to have any control over what these AI friends do. They just sort of wander around. Alright, now it looks like we've got one heading up to Castenham. That's what we want. We want to capture that. Oh, we've got one heading over to Loneywood to capture that. So we're going to have to head up there shortly, I think. The more friendly ships you have on an enemy port or building, the faster it captures. So definitely have a friend or two with you, if at all possible. That way you're not sitting here for too long. All right, so we captured that. But now Norna Castle has been... Oh, Northwest. Yeah. They're up there now. I do love the music, though. Very serene. Uh, I think... I'm heading up to Loneywood just to be on the safe side. There's a pirate lingering over there, and I don't like that. See if it has any good loot. Sometimes they don't have great loot, but other times... Where'd you come from? I gotta wonder if there's a town up there to the north northeast. I guess we'll check. A sad day indeed. A fancy chest. That might actually give us something. Let's head up this way. I, I'm just curious, because there's... There might be a town. Nope, just a sentry tower. Okay, I, I don't, I'm not going to worry about that. The majority of this region is now controlled... Oh, there is a town to the east here. Alright, let's capture that. That's where they were spawning from. What I like to do is sort of limit... Limit their spawn options. If I can start from one side of the map and move over, maybe corner them into one or two towns. They see they just recaptured Castenham. Now I gotta head back over there. If we can keep them confined to that northwest area and prevent them from branching out, we'll be okay. Alright, we've got three friendly ships possibly heading up there. It's hard to tell. Sure, chat's working here. Huh, that's weird. Yeah, I didn't see. I saw Medin actually said something, but I wasn't actually able to see it on my uh, restream. IO has been really weird lately. I might have to alt tab every now and again just to make sure that I'm catching everybody. Hi, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Is it Gita? Gita? G-I-T-A. Not the ideal position to be in right here. I'm getting slammed by two different ships. Alright, we're good. It's one. Yeah, I know it's Gita, but I don't know how to pronounce it. 
<laughs> is it Gaida, Gita, Gita? There's many different ways to pronounce an I. Alright, so we capture that, heading northwest. Let's see if we can't take this town back. Hi, Jay. How are you? Yeah, there are a lot of birds, but that's okay. They don't hurt us. Pirate just snuck by. Let's see if we can stop him. I don't think so, pal. Oh, he's guarding this spot real good. of explosions but I think we got this one well that's very nice thank you Oh, cool. So we picked up some sail embroideries. Nice. Okay, so we completed this instance. Again, this is separate from our main map. But we still get experience, and we get to keep whatever loot that we've gotten. Okay, so fast travel. I guess we'll head back to region... I guess we'll head back there. Alright. Let's equip... Ooh, burlap sails. Look at that. 
It's better at everything, except for acid. It doesn't have any acid resistance, but I don't know of too many weapons that have acid attack to begin with, so we definitely want to equip this burlap sails. We'll go ahead and equip that. Uh, we'll go ahead and sell the bark cloth sails. And why not equip this, just to see what it looks like. There, look at that. We now have a lion head on our sail. I'll take that. This sun, I don't really... Yeah. Sell that. And these fancy chests. Uh, we can sell them or salvage. I'm going to go ahead and just sell them. And we'll sell the whole paint. Okay. So, I wonder if we can buy any more ships. Um, right now, we have a sloop of war. It has three cargo spots and... All of these numbers here for defense, offense, support, mobility, and speed. We could buy a schooner for 7,739. That has 30 more defense, looks like 40 more offense, 30, no, 40 more support, less mobility though, and more speed. Then there's the Brigantine, which has way more defense and offense. Support 150, that's the same as the Schooner. Less mobility and less speed. I'm kind of concerned. I don't know if I like the Brigantine. I kind of like the Schooner, even though it's cheaper. Yeah, it has more defense, but that's it's giving up speed to do it. I don't know. I kind of like the Schooner. But I also got to wonder if there's other ships out there besides these ones listed. There probably is. Let's see if there's any quick quests that we can grab. Jewelry can be exported to Artbin, 6.6 .6 kilometers away. All right, let's do that. Let's... The way this screen works, this cargo screen, green numbers mean that they've got excess of it. Red numbers mean that they don't have enough of it. So um, you want to buy the excess and sell that excess to towns that need it, that have a negative number. Uh, you can actually see that if you hit M. If you hover over Artbin, for example, you can see what they have in abundance. Incense, salt, glass, and spices. And then shortage. They have a shortage of leather, meat, jewelry, iron, wheat, and coal. Um, rather than having to come here, though, and hover mouse and, and try and figure out who needs what, you can click on a town and just hover over this. And it'll say on the very bottom... Coal can be exported to Artbin, 6.6 .6 kilometers away. So I'm just going to buy some of that. And maybe one more. Unless there's a quest that takes me to Artbin. I don't see anything. Alright, we'll buy one more. So yeah, if you don't feel like combat, you can just... Oh, found something. Okay. Yeah, if you don't feel like doing combat, you can just keep trading between ports. Um, and you can actually level up these ports too by continuously completing their quests. They grow in size. Alright, so we're going to sell the jewelry. That gave us a profit of 267. And we're going to sell this coal off. Oh, we have excess. Um, I'm sure we'll find a place to sell it. Uh, let's see. Incense. Salt. Glass. Spices. Okay, no demand for any of that stuff. What about quests? Defend Artbin. That's an easy one. All you do is stay right here. And let them come to you. Alright. Alright. So I did two Defend Artbin quests. So now I'm just going to wait for these pirates to show up. Can you catch the fish? Uh, no. Here comes one. Wasn't too bad. 
Another fancy chest. Okay, here's the other one. There are multiple difficulty levels that you can set prior to entering your game. So you can put it on easy if you want an easier experience, but you won't get as much loot either. So it's up to you on how you want to do it. Fast travel to this region, see if there's anything going on there. Alright, so in this region, there's only two towns. It's kind of strange. Let's see if there's any quests. The only positive thing, though, about having a, a region with two towns, every quest that you get, it's going to lead you to the other town. So you can just keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, it, it's sort of cheesing it a little bit. Salvage. Uh, yeah, sure. Quests. Deliver cargo to Ashenand. Discover Ashenand. Uh, establish a new town. How much is that going to get me? 35 XP. Eh. I guess we'll deliver cargo to Ashenand. We'll discover it even though we've already done so. And is there any cargo that wants to go to Ashenand? Iron, nope. Meat. Okay. So we'll head out. Hi, Jensen. How are you? Hi, Atik, is it? Uh, as far as I know, Windward doesn't have any new updates, but then again, I have over... 2,500 games in my Steam library, so for me to keep up with each one is impossible. This game has been out for quite a while, so it's possible that there was an update, but it really depends on the developer. Some developers release a game and never update it ever again, others update it for years after the fact. Alright, so we've completed our commissions by getting close. There were two missions that I had. I'm just going to get rid of this coal if I can. Okay, so jewelry. No known demand for jewelry. Coffee. No demand for coffee. Meat. No demand for meat. Alright, what about quests? Ferry passengers deliver... Co okay, we'll just do those two. Head back. The, uh, what do you mean the Leaf Cutter free play update? I've already, I released, uh, Empires of the Undergrowth stream last week. And that featured the Leaf Cutter update. Do I play Roblox? No. I covered it once. I think that's enough. It's not really, I don't find it interesting. Oh, okay. I know they had the majors in free play. Okay, so we got brown hall paint as a reward. I'm just going to sell that. Build a guard tower. Are we going to get what we need for it? Yes, okay. So we just have to find a place for this guard tower. I'll put it nearby. There we 
we go. That was easy. That'll protect the town. And it looks like we got some grizzled crew as a reward, but unfortunately, the sum of all of their traits add up to 88, and we've got crew that add up to 130, so I'm just going to sell this off. It's still easy money, though. Alright, I guess we'll do... Just, just to keep things moving, let's do one more... One more instance. And we'll do... We'll do some more combat. Okay. Oh, cool. Got to figure out where we are. Okay, so it looks like we're in the upper right. Let's start by going this way. I love the I love the look of this. It's got an alpine frosty look to it. gonna blow past the sentry tower. No no sense in capturing that right now. Same with that one. We're only interested in capturing towns. Alright, so there's a lighthouse, but again, don't really care about the lighthouse. Oh, there we go. There's a town. Do I play Minecraft? Um, I played Minecraft a while. I tried to get it to work the other day, but it doesn't work. I get a launch error of some sort. I don't know why. Ever since uh, Microsoft bought out Minecraft, I've had nothing but problems. But I can I can get into the launcher, I can launch the game, kind of, but as soon as I launch it, or click the launch button, it gives me an error. And I don't know what to do about it. Alright, one city capture, let's move on to the next one. I guess it's more of a town than a city. I use WASD for controlling my ship. You can also control it with your mouse. If you hold in left click, you can set your direction. But I prefer WASD, it's much easier. Because you also have hotkeys for these on the bottom. There's R for repair. V for aimed volley. C for chain shot. All of that's like right there. Oh, got incoming. Is it my imagination or is that ship purple? purple to me. I work tomorrow, so um, I don't know if I can do a live stream tomorrow. I have a day job. This isn't my day job.
Well, this was a big fat dead end down here. Let's turn around. Still love the scenery, though. It looks so good. What is my day job? I'm an accountant. Stuff with numbers. I'm not going to tell you where I work, but that's my primary focus. Oh, we got some incoming. Trying to get in between them. That way I can shoot out both sides. There we go. Well, yeah, we're getting we're getting hammered, but if we can attack both at the same time, that'll increase our odds. There we go. Yeah, there is multiplayer to this. Should you want to do it? I've never tried it. I'm more of a single player kind of guy. Lighthouse there. Sentry tower there. There's got to be a town nearby. I'd be surprised if there wasn't. Yep, there's one down there to the south. Let's see if we can grab that. Oh, nice. We can capture both at the same time. Stay in inside both circles. Oh, I've got two talent points to spend. I didn't even note it. Um, let's go with... Range of weapons increased by 10%. That would be nice. Maneuverability increase. Crit chance increase. It's a tough decision. Uh, let's figure that out in a little... Let's... Let's get back up there. It looks like our friends are in trouble. Yeah, there's a couple of red dots there harassing our, our ships. No, they're gone. They must have got them. All right, we'll head east then, see if there's anything over this way. Oh, we've got a town to the north. Yeah, the water is a really nice looking in this game, I will say that.
Oh, the pirates have plundered our starting town, Rowanbury, northeast. Well, if we can capture this real quick, that would be awesome. All right, it's not going to let us capture this. I'm not exactly sure why. Probably a, a ship in range defending it, or that tower over there is defending it. Hi, Gregory. How are you? Sentry Tower is down. Let's finish this guy off. Now, normally I wouldn't bother capturing the Sentry Tower, but this will be a nice little defensive node that the AI pirates will have to get through in order to capture this town. Oh, crap. Reinforcements. Our only hope is to blow them up as quickly as possible. Get between them. There we go. Wow, that was close. Oh, crap. This might be the end of us. Ride! Where's our friends at? I, that's what I'd like to know. Alright, repair. Luckily, we do have a supply of wood on board. We can use it to repair our ship. Alright, I think that's good. We don't want... We don't want them to recapture that sentry if we can help it. This guy looks nasty. I've never heard of Plasma Burst, no. My day is okay, how was yours? I'd like to know what our AI buddies are doing. I mean, they're just sort of just... I'm doing all the legwork down here. What are they doing? Alright, so we captured that. Awesome. Sentry tower is now ours. Let's go ahead and capture this. I wouldn't mind capturing Rowanbury again, just to be on the safe side, and then maybe head south. I'm sure there's a town down here that we don't know about.
Alright, let's go ahead and increase, I guess, critical strike chance. What's this one? Noxious fumes? Huh. We can throw a new skill. We can throw a barrel full of fish onto another ship. I gotta try this. Current rank. Reduces armor, speed, mobility, and accuracy by 25% of your damage. Oh, okay. So I wonder if this is an automatic thing. It says new skill. Right, well maybe we'll get access to it when we're... Oh, here it is. Right here. Noxious Cloud. Cool. I would not drink either or. Both drinks are disgusting. Pepsi and Coke are both nasty. Very unhealthy, too. We're not going that way. I was trying to get up there. Oh, there's a town there. Let's see if we can't get to it. Oh, we've got a sentry tower protecting the town, so we have to destroy that first. Alright, we'll throw some fish at it. It'll be fine. So it just, it's basically a debuff. It doesn't actually do any damage as far as I can tell, but it reduces armor, speed, mobility, and accuracy. So it's a debuff. So I don't know if this poison would actually work very well against this tower. I guess accuracy. I mean, if it can't hit us, then we can't take damage. There's that. Alright, we captured the tower. Now we just have to capture the town. Let's go after this one up here to the north, our starter town. And I don't know what else is left. I don't see any other towns on the map. This might be the last one, but I can't I can't tell. There might be one down here to the south. I don't see any enemy ships. Oh, there's one. Alright, see you later. Have fun.
Yep, there's a town down here. I think once we capture this, this is game over. Oh, there we go. Zinc lined ammunition. More critical, less damage. I don't know if I like that, though. It has hull and piercing. That might be worth it. Alright. Looks like we got them all. Did we win the scenario, at least? Oh, it looks like the pirates captured one. Just at the last second, too. Yeah, I don't like the stats on this. Even though it's 10 better than what I have, it's less accurate, does less damage overall. Like, it just, I don't like it. This critical specialist is not, I'm not keeping that either. It's like almost the exact opposite of what we currently have. Gives us critical damage, diplomacy, and mobility, but at the cost of armor piercing and range, which I like those. There we go. Got them all. Oh, and we got something. Oh, Plumwood Hull. It's slightly better than what we have now. Way more armor. Uh, a lot of diplomacy, but we lose hull, mobility, and speed. Oh, man, that stinks. Well, I guess with the armor, that would make up for the, the drop in hull. Mobility and speed, I'm not too worried about. I think we, we do want to equip this. Oh man, it's they're both good. Hmm. hmm. What does hull do? How well the ship's hull can resist incoming damage. Well, that's a tough call. I like, I, I we can keep them both, but I don't see a reason to keep them both. I'm going to sell this one. I don't want that. So, or yeah, I'm going to sell that for 160 and sell this one for 182. And as far as this one goes... I mean, the extra armor is nice, but let's see what it does. The higher the armor plating, the less damage your ship will take from combat. Incoming damage received 80.1%. If we equip this one... Incoming damage received 84.5%. So it's only a difference of 4%. Maybe what I had was better. Yeah, this gives us... This this haul... This is 6,300 haul. This is 5,250. So we're going to get roughly 1,000 or so haul with our old one. I think we're going to keep our old one. I mean, yeah, it's two points better, but um, I'm going to sell that. It's still 1,200. It's not too bad. Yeah, I'm still not interested in that brigantine. I want to step above the brigantine. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in the stream here. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.